So, after the terrible night that was last night, hopefully this morning, we will make it to first base camp. I can barely breathe, couldn't really eat, can't really drink water, but we're gonna try and go. What do you think? We're gonna take it step by step and see how it goes. So, we're fresh. We haven't traveled from Gorshep, so we're starting fresh for the base camp. So you mean Loboche? Loboche, thank you. Yeah, we're just gonna try take it the second by second. Go from there. So that is Kalapatar, which we did not do. At the top you can get a really good view of Everest, but it probably would have killed me. So we didn't do it. This is workshop. And this is where we're going. Nice. So cold. The water has frozen. Oh, it's beautiful. We just heard an avalanche right there. You can kind of see the snow falling. Dad can't see it. <laughs> so that's the Everest Base Camp. And there's the Kumba Ice Fall where the climbers start their climb up. We can just see Everest Base Camp on the horizon there. Kumba Ice Fall. This train is crazy scrambling over glacier rocks. <sighs> so we can see Everest right there behind the mountain. And Base Camp. He's there. We're walking along a narrow, rocky path. Okay, Lee, let's have an update. Where are we? We're on our way to the Everest Base Camp. Uh huh. It's over there. So, where all that snowy stuff is, it's kind of in between yeah. and around that area. So, we still got a fair bit of ways to go trails to get to it but we're getting, getting close. Oh. So Everest Base Camp is right over there so we just have to go down that hill and up this rocky cliff. Honestly it seems pretty impossible at the moment. I'm pretty tired. But we're so close. Gotta do it. I think we're almost there. All right, well, let's see. Well, <laughs> are those tears of sadness or tears of, let me scan over, oh, what does that say? Everest Base Camp. You are incredible. I'm so proud of you. My God, this is the most amazing thing. Oh, we are at Everest Base Camp. Don't worry, folks. These are tears of joy. It's been a long journey. Oh. Is it ever? Oh. And there 
Where's Everest? Oh, right at the back there. The one with the, the black one with the snow falling off it. Oh, so proud of you. Couldn't have done it without you, Jean. No. Yeah. Both of you. That's, uh, I want to thank you so much. You're welcome, Charles. Oh, that was... Uh, Couldn't make it. We were... Oh, we you made it. Oh, I forgot to check the time. Yeah, we made it. We're just kind of resting, taking photos. Steven, our porter. Yeah. Oh, man. Whew. So we finally made it to base camp. There are many moments in the last two days. I didn't think we would get here. <laughs> no. But we made it here. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. It was not an easy go. No. Don't believe everything you read in the brochures. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, we made it. Now we just gotta make it back. Yeah. Oh well. A few more minutes, we'll rest up, and then we'll head back. But yeah, it's incredible. There's not a lot of tents here because it isn't climbing season, but. Uh... And we have pretty much the place to ourselves because we came at kind of an in-between time, so yeah, it's been pretty great. good. Whole place to ourselves, first time on the trip. I know. Usually there would be hordes of them. <laughs> this is great. And a bird lives at Everest Base Camp. So that's the Kumbo Icefall. And you climb it up, and we can just see the tiniest peak of Mount Everest. So, in climbing season, all of this would be covered with little yellow tents, but now there's just this one. I don't know who lives there. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. There's the Kungo Ice Fall. Oh. The climbers start and climb up, and then you can just see the peak of Mount Everest behind it. We got really good views today. We did. We really did. <laughs> <laughs> 